Hello YouTube fellow viewers, subscribers and friends. Hope you are doing well today. I'm going to show you my new LiPo battery charger that I bought from AliExpress. It's M6D, the model dual smart charger. I'm going to unbox it and show you the features and how to use it in this video. So stay tuned. So, what you have in the box is the unit, of course, all these things I bought separately, and you come with a USB cable, so you can upload the firmware of the, the unit through the USB port, And also comes with a screen protector, which I'm not going to use because this is not a touch screen. So I'm not, not going to put that because it always creates some bubbles and I don't like it. So that's that. So in the back you have the input. It's a XT60 input plug. You can put the DC input to, from 7 to 28 volts so it's pretty universal you can use from 2S to wherever you have an output 5 volts 2.1 amp and here on the front you have the two balance ports that will go from 2S to 6S batteries and you have the XT60 plugs for the channel 1 and 2. Here you have an external temperature sensor. I think this measures the external temperature but don't quote me on that. What I like about this Firstly, you can use this with any input, so you can use LiPo battery to power it. This is a 3S battery. This is why I bought the adapters. And As you can see, you can power it with a battery or an adapter, any 12 volt with 4-5 amps minimum power supply will work. I'm using here as an Xbox 360 power supply. I have a video that will be in the screen about showing how to do this with a C Xbox 360 power supply but you can also buy the power supply for like 25 euros or something I'll put the link in the description for that you can buy them from AliExpress you have the the toolkit RC branded ones and you also have one similar to this that I believe are cheaper, not sure, I'll have to check later. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna cycle you through the menus. If you press and hold the scroll button, the setup menu will appear. Sorry about the glare on the screen. So here I'm gonna cycle through this really fast. This is the input settings options. Here you have the security options where you can choose the synchronous mode and charge using the two X outputs at the same time so you can achieve 25 amps. Continuous work it's a mode where you 
choose the settings to charge a battery when you take it out and you plug another one in it will use the previous settings of the previous battery work completed is to choose what the unit will do when it finishes charging the batteries you can do trickle charge this is start voltage of the balance I'll keep, I, I keep mine always on battery selection is when you plug in the battery it will ask you from the presets you have which battery will you charge you can keep five batteries in the memory gonna leave this on this is for the backlight to adjust the backlight this is the buzzer I removed mine for the video language theme style this is very nice you can choose from dark and light theme and that's it that's the setup menu now this in the main menu here you have the two channels for the two outputs when you press here this is the channel choosing button and also the exit button so you choose from one to another from here these values here on the top this is the input voltage the amperage being drawn from the input volt uh, input and the total watt hour spent this is the internal temperature of the device it has a fan it turns on at 45 degrees celsius at half speed and at 53 celsius at full speed now we're gonna plug in a battery so you can see the other options I'm gonna plug in now balance lead this is a charged battery and I need an empty one it's a little bit yeah it's not totally full so I'm gonna use this so now when you plug in the battery And as you can see it reads the cell voltage for each cell if you scroll here you you change the page here it says standby because we're not charging if you want to test the resistance of the battery the internal resistance you press and hold the channel button And there you go, there you have the internal resistance. When you want to charge, you, you press the scroll button and the battery selection menu appears because as you saw I selected that in the configuration settings. If the battery selection was off, it will not ask this. But so. And you connect the battery as I was saying have battery type you can choose between all these battery types 
I'm going to choose lipo cells. I'll leave it on auto. It auto detects how many cells it has. Now, the mode you can use charge mode, discharge mode, and stock charge. In the charge, if you press in discharge mode, if the input is a battery, you have the option to choose from discharging using the internal un the unit or recharge, recharge the battery using the recycle mode. And what this does is it transfers the, the current from the battery you are discharging for the input battery. All right, that's that. Here you will calibrate the end voltage of the discharge. And the current that you will discharge at. We're not going to use this charge, we're going to charge. So in charge, you can set the end voltage, which is 4.2 for LiPo, correct? And the charge current. As the battery is almost full, I'm going to change this to 1 ampere hour. And here on the down part, you have the two channels, you can choose between 1 and 2. Or you can choose both. So it will use the same settings for the two channels. This is very nice. I'm going to choose channel 1 and hit start. OK. Now it starts charging. And now when you scroll here on the top, of course, you have the voltage of the battery at the moment, the amps putting in. Here the time since the beginning of the, the charge process. And this, how many million powers was put in till the, to the battery till the moment. This blinking light is saying which battery is is not charging now is holding it's balancing this one and that one is getting charged so this blinking lights refer to the balancing process of the unit when you scroll right as you saw you see the internal resistance and if you scroll again it says the status of the battery at the moment. Now it's charging it till 1.1 watt, 4.2 volts, 1 amp power. So that's that. During charge, you can press the scroll button and change the current on the fly or stop the charge. All right, this is for charging process. Other feature that you have here, when you go to the battery selection, battery type, if you choose power, this one here, this will act as a power output for any device you want. So you choose power and now you can choose the output voltage you need for your device. It can come from 1 volt to 28 volts output. So this is a DC converter or whatever it's called, I'm not sure, but yeah, this will regulate the, the current and it will put out 
an output of what you want and what you need to power up your device and you can power up any device just have to use XT60 plug to that device and you're done right want to mention that because this is a very cool feature if you test the voltages and your unit is not well calibrated what you do is you to enter the calibration menu you press and hold the scroll button and you plug in the battery and this menu comes up as you see and this is the calibration menu but this comes calibrated from factory you measure the battery and you put the values and you save and you're calibrated all right that's another cool feature now i'm going to show you charging two batteries at the same time with different batteries this is 2s and this is 3s battery plug it in i also bought this extension so it's easier to connect the battery so i don't have to put it like so but it's not mandatory but links will be in the description this is pretty cheap connect the extension it's as you can see it's easier and you can work with the batteries more to put them more apart from each other gonna select charge the first battery 8.4 volts yes it's charging the 2s as you can see now change the channel channel 2 3s charge to 12.6 volts okay start and now it's charging 1 2s and 1 3s at the same time 1 amp each all right this is very useful so links for all this will be in the description I thank you all for watching, if you like the video please give me the like button, it doesn't take anything, it's just a second, and thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.